ਫੈਡਰਲ ਆਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੇ ਲੀਡਰ ਪੀਅਰ ਪੋਲੀਅਵ ਨੇ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਐਥਨਿਕ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਨਾਲ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਮੇਨ ਮੁੱਦਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਵਾਦਾ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਉਹਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਸਾਲਾਂ ਚੋਂ 300% ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਇਨਕਰੀਸ ਹੋਇਆ ਚਾਹੇ ਉਹ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਟਰ ਹੋਏ ਗੱਡੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਚੋਰੀ ਹੋਏ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਨੂੰ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਅਗਰ ਮੈਂ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਮਿੰਿਸਟਰ ਬਣਨਾ ਤੇ ਪਹਿਲੇ 100 ਦਿਨ ਚ ਮੈਂ ਕੀ ਕੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੰਮ ਹੈ ਬਿਲਸ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਉਂਗਾ ਸਾਰੇ ਤੇ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਔਰ ਸਵਾਲ ਜਵਾਬ ਲਿੱਤੇ ਐਥਨਿਕ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਦੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਆਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਲੀਡਰ ਨੂੰ ਸਵਾਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿ ਆਇਲ ਐਂਡ ਐਨਰਜੀ ਸੈਕਟਰ ਦੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਕਿ ਆਇਲ ਐਂਡ ਐਨਰਜੀ ਸੈਕਟਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਕ੍ਰਿਟੀਕਲ ਸੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਸਾਡਾ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਥਰਡ ਲਾਰਜੈਸਟ ਵਰਲਡ ਚ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਿਊਸਰ ਹੈ ਆਇਲ ਰਿਜ਼ਰਵ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਥਰਡ ਲਾਰਜੈਸਟ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਚ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਕੋਲ ਹੈ ਫਿਰ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਕੋਲੰਬੀਆ ਕਿਊਬੈਕ ਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਲੋਡ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਓਵਰਸੀਜ਼ ਬਿਲੀਅਨਸ ਡਾਲਰ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੇਲ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਇੰਪੋਰਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੈ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਤੇਲ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸਸ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਚ ਕੀ ਲੂਪ ਹੋਲਸ ਹੈ ਕੀ ਉਹਦੇ ਚ ਕਮੀਆਂ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਰਿਜ਼ੋਲਵ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਔਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਇੱਕ ਸਟੇਟਮੈਂਟ ਚ ਪੁੱਛ ਕੇ ਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਕਿ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਮਿੰਿਸਟਰ ਜਸਟਿਨ ਟਰੂਡੋ ਲਿਬਰਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਇਲਿਬਰਲ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਸਾਡਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਵਾਲ ਕਿ ਇਲਿਬਰਲ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਅੱਧਾ ਦੀ ਸਟੇਟਮੈਂਟ ਕਿਉਂ ਕੀਤੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਪੀਅਰ ਪੋਲੀਓ ਨਾਲ ਆਇਲ ਐਂਡ ਐਨਰਜੀ ਸੈਕਟਰ ਇਜ਼ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਕ੍ਰਿਟੀਕਲ ਸੈਕਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਵੇਅਰ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਹੈਜ਼ ਦਾ ਥਰਡ ਲਾਰਜੈਸਟ ਆਇਲ ਰਿਜ਼ਰਵ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਵਰਲਡ ਵਾਈ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਆਵਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸਸ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਕੋਲੰਬੀਆ ਔਰ ਕਿਊਬੈਕ ਦੇ ਗੈਟ ਆਇਲ ਫਰਮ ਓਵਰਸੀਜ਼ ਵਾਟ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਔਨ ਦੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਇਨ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਯੂਰ ਸਟੇਟਮੈਂਟ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਟੈਂਸ ਸਟੇਟਮੈਂਟ ਯੂ ਮੇਡ ਦੈਟ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਮਿੰਿਸਟਰ ਜਸਟਿਨ ਟਰੂਡੋ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਅ ਲਿਬਰਲ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਇਲਿਬਰਲ ਸੋ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਇਲਿਬਰਲ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ so first question we have the third biggest supply of oil on planet earth and yet we're importing 130,000 barrels a day uh, that's because trudeau blocked the energy use pipeline that would have brought western oil to eastern refineries so our our refineries in the east are bringing in foreign oil at a higher price and with greater pollution instead of using our oil and keeping the money in canada as a result we have to sell 99% of our oil exports to the united states who pay us a discount they then up mark the price and make a huge profit we get underpaid they get the profit uh, and we get the loss so my common sense plan is to repeal trudeau's anti energy law c69 to allow us to build pipelines to approve natural gas liquefaction facilities and export our gas to the rest of the world this is good for the environment because natural gas is a cleaner source of electricity then is coal india china other countries are burning coal for electricity we could convert that to natural gas which emits half the 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 ghgs for each unit of energy um and we can liquefy gas cleaner than any other country in the world because we have cold weather that reduces liquefaction costs by 25% we have shorter shipping distances to both asia and europe than they do in the in the states and all of the provinces that would do liquefaction bc quebec and newfoundland are powered by hydroelectricity which is a zero emitting zero pollution source of electricity let's use that clean electricity to liquefy the gas put it on a ship send it to asia to shut down asian coal fire plants and send it to europe to break european dependence on putin and turn dollars for dictators into paychecks for our people justin trudeau is not a liberal it might surprise you to hear me say that he's not a liberal the liberals used to believe in liberty and conservatives believed in liber in conserving it that was the common sense consensus we had in canada justin trudeau does not believe in liberty he believes in government control he wants to control your money he wants to control your kids he wants to control the economy control your speech control your bank account uh he wants to control everything that is illiberal it's the opposite of liberalism um i don't want to run your life i want to run your government and a government that does a few things well rather than a lot of things poorly a government that minds its own business and lets people live their lives that is the traditional common sense consensus that liberals and conservatives believed in for a century and a half until trudeau he's he is not a liberal he's an admirer of the basic chinese communist dictatorship an admirer of fidel castro he believes in dictating from above i
forcing two million people to food banks, that work doesn't pay, you make it, he takes it. That's right. Housing costs have doubled after eight years of Trudeau, and we hear, hear stories of bylaw officers in Brampton finding 25 international students crammed into a single basement. Wow. This is the chaos and inhumanity that Canadians and visitors suffer after eight years of Justin Trudeau's incompetence. And furthermore, we have eight years of crime and chaos that is the result of his policies. Um, let's look at the facts here. After eight years of Trudeau, car thefts are up 300% in Toronto, wow. over 100% in Ottawa and Montreal. Yeah, since taking uh, government, uh, the Trudeau government has presided over a 34% nationwide increase in car thefts. In New Brunswick, thefts are up 120%, Ontario and Quebec 122 and 59% respectively. This explosion of car theft is also making life unaffordable for people who follow the law. In 2022, for the first time ever, car theft costs the insurance industry $1 billion, meaning that everyone has to pay more each month. In Ontario, car theft claims were up 329% in the first half of 2023, adding up to more than 700 million losses alone. That's just in Ontario, 700 million losses. That works out to $130 per year per person in higher insurance premiums as a direct result of car theft. This is happening because Trudeau's dangerous catch and release policies in C-75 allow the career car thieves who are newly arrested to be released within hours in order to steal more cars. Police are powerless to stop the career car thefts because even after they are convicted, Trudeau's C-5, Bill C-5, allows them to do their sentence in the comfort of their living room in something called house arrest. So they can watch Netflix all day and then whenever they run out of money, they open the front door, they walk out into the street, and they steal another car. Um, finally, the federal RCMP, which is supposed to be responsible for organized crime, is in a state of ruin after Trudeau's corruption and incompetence has prevented it from doing its job. Our ports, our parking lots, our federal ports, are now parking lots for stolen cars. Cars are stolen in the middle of the night and by the time the owner wakes up to notice that the car is no longer in his driveway, that car can be on a ship out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean headed to the Middle East, Africa or Europe where it is resold to profit gangsters and terrorists. Uh, that is the chaos Trudeau has given us. But I've got a common sense solution. My common sense plan will bring jail and not bail for repeat car thieves. It will end house arrest and it will crack down on corruption in the ports. Here's my common sense plan. We will increase the mandatory prison time for, for car theft from six months to three years for a third offense. Two, we will remove eligibility for house arrest if convicted of motor vehicle theft by way of indictment. Three, a common sense conservative government will create a new specific aggravating factor where the offense of motor vehicle theft is committed for the benefit of organized crime. And four, we will repeal catch and release laws in Justin Trudeau's C-75 to ensure that repeat offenders get jail, not bail, jail, not bail. The Polyev government will hit the brakes on th car theft, protect your property and bring home safe streets. And let me say that there will be more announcements coming from my common sense team over the next days, weeks and months on how we can shut down the entire supply chain uh, that moves our stolen cars from your driveway to gangsters and terrorists around the world. We've got a full comprehensive plan that will reverse the chaos and bring home safe streets. The good news is Canada was not like this before Justin Trudeau and it won't be like this after he's gone. We're going to bring home common sense. Our priorities, axe the tax, build the homes, Fix the budget, stop the crime. Axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, stop the crime.
That is a common sense plan. Let's bring it home. After eight years of uh, Justin Trudeau, extortion is raging out of control. It is up well over 100% in the last eight years. Uh, this is because international crime networks are preying upon the weakness of our justice system and our police, uh, our, our national police force. The, uh, uh, these crime networks are uh, based outside of Canada. They are engaging local hitmen to make the threats and carry them out. They're targeting decent, honorable, successful business leaders in places like Brampton, Surrey, uh, Northeast Calgary, and parts of Edmonton. Uh, the um, the problem, what we need is a common sense plan to jail the extortionists and the thugs that they employ to break up the international crime networks who are carrying, uh, who, are, who are profiting off of the extortion rings, uh, to uh, restore our national police force, the RCMP, as a real law enforcement body that protects people against these organized crime operations. Uh, and uh, that is what I will do. And we will be, over the next days, weeks, and months, you will see announcements from my common sense team to stop extortion and stop the crime. Yes, I do think the Liberals are trying to scapegoat international students for the Trudeau housing crisis. Uh, the students are not to blame. The students are just doing what the government al allowed. It was the Trudeau government that granted them visas. So it's not like they broke laws by coming here. They, they came here uh, following the rules that Trudeau put in place. So the problem is that they're the basic competence of a government to protect those students was not in place. They should have verified, the government should have verified that the colleges were offering real diplomas before the students got here, that, that the students had housing, and that they had a way of paying their bills. And if they had done that, then we would have avoided this entire problem. But uh, the, the government of Canada under Justin Trudeau has failed the international students, caused misery, uh, human trafficking, and even death. Some students have gone home in body bags because of the, the chaos that we never existed. We had a wonderful international student program before Justin Trudeau. We had the best immigration system in the world before Justin Trudeau. No one in, there was no debate about immigration in Canada. We were one of the unique places on earth where immigration wasn't even controversial in this country before Trudeau came along and unleashed chaos. You know, if you were trying to undermine if you had a devious plan to undermine support for immigrants and immigration in Canada, you would do exactly what Justin Trudeau has done, which is to say, mismanage the international student program, allow abuses of temporary foreign workers, and delink the number of people coming to the number of homes built. And that is what he has done. He's trying to shatter the consensus and divide our people. We need to get back to a common sense immigration plan that links the numbers of people who come to the number of homes they get built, that makes sure students have housing, income, and real educational institutions, and that uh, brings in people who are suited for our job market. That is the common sense approach that worked for, uh, for 150 years, and that is what I will restore. How do conservatives win among immigrant communities? Because we share the same values, faith, family, and freedom. The common sense values I spoke of today are the values of immigrants who come here, they want to raise their families in peace. They want to pass down their values to their kids. They want to pay their bills, live in a decent home, have a good job. We're the only party that will ax the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime so immigrants can enjoy the Canadian dream.